Hello and welcome to the Museum of Cornish Life. My name is Isabel and today I am going to show you how to make a hanging advent calendar because it is lots and lots of fun. So the very first thing you need to do is decide what you're going to hang your parcels from. Because these are all little parcels inside. So I found a stick. I don't know if you can see the wood there. You can see that that's just a, a nice piece of sticky wood. And I got two Christmassy colours, red and green, and this. Um, and it's, it's really lovely. It feels really nice, actually. And then I just wrapped them round and 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 round. I kept going and kept going and kept going. So I got right to the end and then I tied it off. And then I decided that obviously you do need to be able to hang this on something. So you need to make a little triangle hang. And again, you just wrap these together, pop them up, tie them on either end, hold it up, see if you think that that's good enough. And there you go. As you can see, we've got lots of different designs for our little hanging parcels. And we need one for every day because we're in the period of Advent now, which is going to lead up to Christmas. So you need one for every day leading up to Christmas. But they can all be different. Now, you might be somebody who likes to make them all look the same, but I'm, like, I'm somebody who likes to make them all look different. Right, let me show you how I did that, because this is super easy and super quick. First one, it's got snowmen and polar bears, because I like them, and this is some wrapping paper that I had. Cut a piece of wrapping paper out, okay, but before you go any further, decide what you're going to be in your parcel. So I've got some really lovely things here. These are stickers, which I think are great. They're winter stickers. So I've decided in this parcel, I'm going to have a polar bear and a Christmas llama and a little Christmas box. So I know all of those will fit in there. I fold it over my piece of paper. I just fold the signs in. As you can see, I'm not very good at cutting out and my edges are a bit rough, but this is why this is brilliant because it doesn't matter. You just fold it over and fold it over again. So it looks a little bit smarter and then get a piece of sellotape stick down one side, another piece of sellotape, stick down the other side. This is the crucial bit, bit, don't forget to put your present in before you seal the top bit, otherwise it's quite tricky to unseal it again. Pop your present in, give it a good shake, and then fold it down. I'm doing a double, double fold, because I like double folds. So now you can see I've got a little packet. Lovely, put it up there. Now, Next thing, don't forget to put the date on, okay? So this is going to be for the 9th of December, so I need a little bit of glue. I see a bit of glue there, lovely. I'm gonna stick that there, lovely. So we know that's on the 9th, and then we need to be able to hang it up. So I quite like the red to go to match with that lovely scarf on that snowman. So flip your parcel over, get your piece there. Another bit of sellotape and then stick it on firmly. Okay, give it a good stick, make sure it's down. And then all you've got to do is hang it up. And I'm going to put it in there. There we go. Whoops, tied on tight. So that's the night for December all ready to go. But you, so I, as you can see, I've got various presents here. I've got some chocolate money. I've got some nice bright stickery things and other stickers. But you might decide actually that you don't want to put presents and su as such in because also Christmas is about giving, but it's not just about giving presents, it's about giving things. And you might decide that you'd like the person who opens it to have something nice that day that they open it. So for this one, I cut out a little penguins from an old Christmas card because as you can see from my jumper, I really do like penguins. I think they're fabulous. And what I've done is I've written a little thing on the back and it says, Pick your favourite Christmas song and we will sing it to you. So whoever opens it gets to pick the song that they like best, then everybody else has to sing it to them, which I think will be fabulous. I'm rather hoping I get this one. Um, I found some envelopes lying around. I don't know where the cards went, but I've got the envelopes. So I thought, actually, it'd be quite nice to have this one in an envelope. Pop it in there, stick it in there. Not going to lick it because it tastes yucky. And then another way hanging things is you could make a hole, put a little hole punch, make sure you're not going to punch the thing that you've written inside, punch punch, lovely, and again I like red and green, so I'm going to have a red, and I'm going to pop a glue there, go glue, go glue, and that's ready to go, but what have I forgotten, I've forgotten to put the date on, now I could stick the date on, but because this is a nice envelope, and we like to write things on envelopes, don't we, I'm going to write the date on. 
17th December. There we go. That's a great big one. And again, I'm just going to pop it on here. Off we go, tied on. Oops. Need to get quicker with my tying. Oops. Brilliant. Um, now, I made this one from a stick. But don't worry if you don't have any sticks at home, because I'm sure what you do have at home are lots of cardboard tubes. OK, what you can do, get a cardboard tube, cover it with a piece of wrapping paper that you'd like, or it might be from a magazine. You might have some old wool at home, put the wool through and you can use that to hang as well. The other thing is to remember is think about what you've got inside your parcels. OK, so if like me, you may have put some chocolate money in, make sure you don't hang it over a radiator and make sure you don't put it anywhere where any pets could get to it, especially cats, because it is dingly dangly and they will love that. So make sure it's hung up high so that nobody can get to it before it's the time to open. You might also want to try this as something that's not maybe just for Christmas. You might want to do a countdown to the new year. You might have somebody in your family that's got a birthday that's coming up and that maybe would like a countdown to their birthday. Or Christmas may not be something that maybe that you celebrate that much in your household. But you can still do this and you can make it as a countdown to anything you like that's fun that's coming up. Um, so I've had a go at another one, which is probably going to be a New Year's one for me. And as you can see, this has got nothing Christmassy on it at all. But I still think it's very pretty and it's going to be my New Year's. Have fun. Make your hanging advent calendar or your countdown to celebration calendar and enjoy it.